Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Scratch. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to work with projectiles and shooting projectiles uh, whether it be a missile or uh, you can apply it to your own game uh, such as shooting a bullet out of a gun. Now you may have already uh, gone through the other tutorial for projectiles. This is just a different way of doing things, Okay, just a variation on that. One thing I will mention is uh, this tutorial already assumes that you have gone through some of the others on things like creating variables and setting up your X and Y positions uh, and even just uh, simply dragging uh, some of the controls in and uh, working with operators and uh, sensing and obviously motion. So we're just going to uh, jump straight into it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is um, grab the control for when green flag is clicked. So just drag that one in. Uh, that's our very first one. Now I'm actually going to modify this a little bit just to start with. So I'm going to show our missile straight away. Okay we're going to change this at the end so just bear with me the reason for that will be uh, made clear in a second okay so the first thing we're going to do is grab a forever control uh, which is just up here so grab that in and we want to do a loop here okay so that's our first thing now our if else or if then else sits inside the forever and what we're actually saying is if the space bar is pressed, okay, if the space bar is pressed, uh, then we want to glide 0.3 seconds to X position of our missile and the Y position of our missile plus 300. Okay, so it basically shoots down this up the screen, I should say. Okay, so the else is where we're going to start, and I'm just going to be dragging things in here as I explain them. So the very th first thing we need to actually do is set up two variables. Now I won't go through how to do that because I'm assuming you've already already done that and so what I want you to do straight away is create a um, uh, missile X pos, missile Y pos or you can change the name there accordingly. So obviously X position, Y position. Drag the, um, sorry rather grab the um, set uh, control and we're going to be changing this so grab that in now we want to actually drop that down and choose our X position for our missile and then what we're actually going to do is we're going to grab in the X position of the spaceship okay so I'm assuming you've already set up uh, your spaceship or whatever it might be, your gun. Okay, and what we're actually doing here is we're setting up our variable. So we're saying that um, the X position is equal to the X position of the spaceship. Now why are we doing that? Well, what we actually want to achieve is that when the spaceship is moving from left to right or up and down or wherever it's moving, the uh, X position of the missile. It's basically and the X and Y position is staying with the spaceship, so it's staying right at the tip there of the nose. Okay, and we're setting our variable to remember we set everything on the right to whatever's on the left. We're assigning whatever's on the right to whatever's on the left. So the X position of that spaceship is now being set to that variable. And I'll just throw that underneath the else there. Now we you can guess what's coming next we do the same thing for the Y except we add the 30 now I want to actually set this up straight away so it doesn't add the 30 and I'll show you why we're doing that so let's just drag that over there for later and we'll throw that underneath so now we've actually set those two variables to whatever the X and Y coordinates of the spaceship is and the next thing we actually want to do is don't forget to do this we're setting the actual uh, variable to right that's zero by default but we actually want to drag that in there set that to our X 
and our y which is obviously can be found in motion okay so set x to something because we actually want to set the x and y position to whatever is contained within that variable okay we'll then drag that up into else now let's take a look at this as a whole I want to drag this into the forever in a second but let's just go through it if the key is pressed spacebar it glides okay um, and stays in the X position obviously because you don't want it to really move from left to right and you want it to glide the Y position where it currently is plus 300 now you can change that those numbers there that's not a problem the else is basically saying um, we want to set the X and Y to this um, so it, it stays with the spaceship okay so let's drag that under the forever and let's see what's happening here now I'm going to actually just play the game uh, quickly what you'll notice is that you can't actually see the missile okay that's because it's actually behind our spaceship so if I stop that there you'll see it's actually sitting about in the center if I drag that away okay now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plus 30 to this so we can see how this is working to our Y position here of the spaceship and we'll play it okay so now immediately you can see where I want to launch it from I want it to actually sit right on the tip there and obviously it launches okay and that's working nicely okay so that's not finished what we actually want to do and just to illustrate that point that's why I actually showed that at the start but we actually what we really want to do is hide okay hide it and then we actually want to show it as soon as we press the spacebar glide and then hide it again so let's see what's the result of that okay just wait for a couple of things to appear and obviously now it's doing as we want it to do okay so again you can play with the numbers here missile at Y position plus you can make that a random number between a certain range uh, obviously this is not finished I plan to say when it actually uh, hits the object it's going to explode and you're not going to see the missile shoot through it but at the moment it's uh, in the early days so thanks for watching